Three, two, one, let's go! Hey there, everyone, this is Aokao, and I'm playing the only video game that has ever existed in the world. I thought it was kind of understood that I knew how to play this game, but turns out I have to defeat my honor and show that I can beat this game. Actually, I don't have to, but dang it, I, fe I felt the sting. So yeah, Mario World, Mario, Super Mario Brothers, uh, the brother of Super Mario, as it is known in its original language, is the only game that has ever existed. And everything that we conceive as being a video game before and after in all of past, present, and future is merely uh, the echo of this game being, you know, kind of reflected through space and time. Last time I played this game was before I started to LP, so it's been a while on original NES and everything. We'll see how this goes. I hope this goes well. This is Mario, and he's gonna kick some shell. This is Mario in the top corner, and the sky is exploding. Who put a star on that flag? That doesn't mean- And look how angry Mario looks like, though. His eyes are like fire red, and he's just full of rage and pesticide. Don't ignore the pesto. Fun fact! When I was an idiot kid and I was playing this game for the first time, I refused, I just absolutely refused to bop a mushroom block um, when I was big. Because I was, like, I was I'm already big. It's completely pointless. Why would I do that? And once I did, like, uh, I think my, the family was watching because my mom's like, Hey, there's a flower. You should get that. I was like, no, I'm not getting that flower, I'm already big, what's the point? <laughs> In conclusion, small children are all idiots and should not be listened to. Alright, check that out. Ah, uh, that's right, we're not getting any warps, we're not getting any chicken livers. We're just playing from start to finish, and whatever happens is something that happens. 5,000, by the way, added to the litter box. Here we go, now we're in the trees. Oh, you only start with three lives in this game. Yeah, that's right. Like, game not super j- I should probably get more coins if I'm concerned about lives going forward. Um, all right, let's see, uh, this is weird. Like, the, so, it's worth saying, the jumping physics are super weird in this game. Like, they're good for the time. They were like the best jumping physics that were ever done until then. They feel super weird now. However, you can kill a chicken if it's crossed the road. However, uh, turns out they're very similar to the physics of Super Marissa Land. So I feel like I have a little bit of an advantage here in terms of pure comfort of riding a truck. Here, look at that. We're in a scary dungeon place. Ooh, fire bar with a weird hit, 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 hit frame. Like, there's- oh, shoot. And yeah, you go from straight to fireball to nothing at all. This- the game is very unrelenting and perhaps even cruel. Well, cruel is the wrong word, but, you know, it just- It takes you seriously as a video games man. And Bowser has the toe wickles. I don't know if it's an attribute he has kept throughout time, but our prince has another castle. Alright, well, we gotta find more castles, then. Check it out, my name is Mario, I'm full of ham, gonna go to the kitchen, and Zam. I don't know what's a Zam, there's an invisible block somewhere here, I think. Eh, it's kinda arbitrary, yeah. Isn't there like a one-up in one of these, but only sometimes? Well, I think that it was supposed to be there, and it's just... Eh, yeah, this is just not... Uh-oh, well, um... You know what? Not worth it anymore. Here we go! Hey, it's a game! That chicken is there. There's a fire flower. Always do your botany when you're ready. Video games exist, but only some- Hey, you can get a star here. You don't get, like, lives for star runs. See, like, look, my score remains a boring 100. It doesn't even escalate my score. This is an insult. It's perjury. 
It is just completely unacceptable. Whoa, I thought I was holding the jump button there, but I did not spring up. Is that a Mario 3 thing? That I just took for granted? Alright, sweet. Oh boy, you gotta, you gotta time that button. It's as comfortable as it looks. Ooh, momentum's important. As important as it looks. Oh yeah, this is a castle. Let's look around inside this castle. I, I I want I wish to roll for rooting around in this castle. Please, no! Stop railroading! I'm not even pressing anything. There is an automated cutscene. All right, check it out. We're on the water. Mario swimming sprite is the way it is. It's a blooper. It's a squid. That's Alga. So fun fact: when I was a kid, I didn't understand swimming. Uh, I forget if the manual talks about it, but basically, no, like, I put her at the start, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna jump over this thing. I can only do this tiny little jump! I don't get it! And I've wasted days just basically assuming that this was broken. Like, of course, by then, at some point, I would have found the warp zone, so I keep exploring those levels. But I was just convinced that, no, this is, this is just broken, you, you can't make it further, I don't know, I... Maybe that's part of the puzzle. And I just kinda accepted that, until one day I accidentally went like one block higher, and I guess at some point I must have figured out that you can just jump all the time on the water. But if that's not something I figured out intuitively. But I do wonder, like, because I remember reading the manual as a kid, and because I live in Canada, there was, like, French pages in the manual, so I, like, I would be able to have read it. Like, I was, when I got this game, I was, it was at the end of my first year, so I was, must have been, like, six years old? Like, like, you know how to read at six, kind of, mostly? Nah. Whoa. The fishes are, don't seem to be generated, or at least they're not generated in the way that... I understand them to be generated. It's actually a really peaceful rhythm of generation. Like, there's barely any fish on screen. Like, why were we collectively so afraid of the bridge? It's such a nothing. Like, most of them will never even intersect with you in any way that is meaningful ever at all. They're just kind of gently flopping, and we blew up a wall. The princess is trying to break her own self free. It's not working out, though. All right, you can get a flower here. Look, it's important to gather points because, you know, video games, they existed, but then they stopped, and then onions became real popular with the kids, and uh, that, just, that just created a whole mess of trouble. Look at that. Using my super skills, I can do this. Whoa. Completely meaningless. Alright, look at that. Bowser throwing flames. They're not even fireballs. They're really like flames. Just without without the root cause. Alright, check it out. Fire battle! Here we go. Battle of the ages. I won. I literally killed Bowser, but that's not true. He retreated in his tiny shell, including his spikes and his mass. That's how it works. I know a turtle when I see it. And I will call it names, like Johnny and Fredo. Uh, maybe you will say that's pretty cruel. And I agree, I need to be stopped. Eh, look at that. That's right, I got that flower. There you go. Destroy the world and your foes. You can if you want to. Video. Uh huh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, okay, well you can still hop on a shell though, you yeah? know? Alright, there's supposed to be a life somewhere here, I think. I might be wrong, or it might just not appear. I was probably just wrong. I don't know. I think it might be a time thing? And I'm taking too much my time? Maybe. Whoa! Look at that trampoline action, though. Masterful deception. Oh, we got some screen wiggles on the top there. Check it out. So you can get unlimited lives here if you're good. I've never understood. Like, you're supposed to be able to jump on that shell in an infinite amount of time, and eventually you just get lives and lives and lives and lives. I didn't hold the jump button there, so maybe that's what you need to do. Like, I never tried it seriously. I never really understood. Oh, this is this weird level where it's like, Alright, well, I gotta check in here. Yeah! Destroy all Goombas! Yeah, that's right. Hey, no, there the, the, the score did start to increase. Whoa. Okay, maybe only in some places? That'd be strange. Well, anyways. No, okay. Whoops. Well, 
That was a powerful star. So I guess stars don't give you consecutive points. Wow, that was that was pretty magical. <laughs> really proud of myself. <laughs> but shells do. So do shells end up getting lives? Like I'm realizing that I just flat out legitimately do not know. Huh. I mean, maybe they do. I guess they do. Maybe they would. I got to 800. But I think I hit all the enemies, so at that point, I don't think I would have been able to get a light. Maybe if you hop on the shell at the last moment? I don't know. This one, we're back to trees, but it is night. Do you are ready to fight? That is not a correct sentence. Video games are not a correct sentence. Here we go. The mushroom, it will not move. It just slides along the ground. Check it out, one up time. So these balance things exist in this game and not any further. <laughs> And I, for one, am glad for that. They, they, they just always feel so scary. I don't know, man. I, I just... Whoa, boy. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, see, 400, 400, and then 500? Those numbers make no sense. Complete absurd numbers without any meaning. They probably have meaning. I don't want to know their meaning. I'm happy in ignorance. Here we go. We're in a temple. Whoa. I remember three being where I thought back then that things were starting to get hard, but I mean, I wouldn't trust my standards of what was hard back then compared now. I mean, this is kind of something, and then yeah, you get this one who goes like against your direction. And that's pretty wild. We got Potobo. It's just Potobo, man. Potobo and fire. See, it made me stop here. Because sometimes Bowser throws more than one fireball. Whoa! It's Bowser Wars! Hey, you now turn into a beetle! That shell is not recognizable as a beetle shell. We haven't met Buzzy Beetle yet. Spoilers, game! I don't know what's Buzzy Beetle. What am I supposed to interpret those pixels at? Hey, check it out. Slacker 2. He has spinies. He has you. Oh, well, he has my heart. When I was back in the day, uh, I always go out of my way to try and get him destroyed, but he is like the gentlest format of Lakitu I've ever seen. Just kind of follows you, always throws the spinies behind you, unless you're going like extra slow. This is the nicest Jugum that has ever existed. I guess everyone was kind of new at their job back in the day, like yeah Mario controls kind of weird. And the enemies kind of also, you know, they're all, everyone is adapting, it's their first time on stage. First time you're on a theater stage with like tens of people watching you, expecting you to have remembered your your lines. Oh boy, one pile jump here. Yo, I did it! One tile jump for me and you. The Goombas are blue because they're sad about you in your performance at the Hockey League. Hey, you know what? It's fine, man. You tried your best. Sometimes... Oh, no, no, no. There's Buzzy Beetle. Preview. It wasn't a spoiler, it was a preview. There's a distinction. One of them is authorized. <laughs> there you go. Look at these things. Uh, I think there might be... Yeah, there we go. I think there might be... Yeah. See, if I don't finish my sentence on time, then no matter what it is that happens, I, I can just say that I'm right. Yeah, see, I thought it would be. Was I talking about a power-up? Probably. You can get another one here, too, if you're really desperate. Alright, check that out. This jump, super hard, if you're a small idiot. Alright, this jump also kind of menacing, so the smart strat is to just fall down and do that. Uh, if you're small, the jump is easy. When you're big, I don't know, I don't trust uh, the momentum of duck jumping in this game. I don't know why. I don't know why I feel this distrust seems kind of random to me. Oh, we're gonna get into a unique tile set here. It exists one time and one time only. Giant mushroom. And they're the same coloration as mushrooms you got for power-ups. Dang it, but um they're not this don't have the same shape, so I don't know what up. Alright, look at that. We're gonna go down here. Oh no, yes, yeah, they're orange with red spots. I thought maybe for a second it might be reversed, but that's clearly not the case. Check that out. Uh 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 uh. 
Yeah, that's right. I don't know why I said check that out to just sing along to a few notes. <laughs> I don't, suddenly the whole absurdity of those lines struck me. Uh, okay, so it seems that even back then, the time limit are kind of faster than, like, actual human time limits. Also, this level is weirdly bare. There's not a whole lot ha- Oh, you're supposed to jump from the platform there. Well, 800 points for the tailor shop. They're gonna have to do with a little bit less to make these pants. Alright, 4-4. Four, four. Another wall of stone when you're a young Raukath trying to play video games. Because you see you're in this cool weird place. It's like... Oh, it's different now. That's because I, I know it. <laughs> so if you go down the lower path, it just loops. Like, if you go anywhere else here, it just loops. It's it's loop mazes, but I, I know the path very well. Look at that! Bowser's got all these toys now. He's got a bar, bar he's got a potabo. All completely and utterly worthless. Because they exist in space, and like, that's his first mistake, man. Exist in space, get an egg in your face. Like, everyone knows that adage. Here we go, it's winter time, or so it seems. The trees are white, and so are the pipes, and they look bad. But that's okay, I can duck a lot and shake. That guy is hopping, these guys don't. I guess I could use a chicken phone. Do you want to? Well, there's a lot of stars in this game. You just got, hey, Bullet Bill. You just got these random, like, power stars just hanging out everywhere. Just everywhere. Just give me that power star, Mom. And then you come to flash all the colors of the rainbow. Assuming the rainbow has two colors, which might. Oh, shoot. So, yeah, there I live. I want. I guess you just don't bounce on enemies. Like, that's the one thing I need to wrap my head around. That just seems so weird and goofy to me. I forget what 5-2 is. Is that the return to water? No! Where's this all oh, here? Oh, it's just, it's just, I recall referring to this as sort of like the, the bullet bill lamb when I was an idiot child. So maybe that's what it is. I think there's a flower here. Yeah, there is. I haven't bought. Oh, hey, Hammer Bro! Hammer Bros and Mario 1 are nutso. They are probably some of the most dangerous Hammer Bros. There were more Hammer Bros in 3 1, I think. Don't get so excited. There's probably, I think there's a vine up there. But I just did like the exact opposite of what you need to do though to get to it. Like that's just. Hammer Bro! I chuck a hammer and then you're dead. And then I dance around and I sleep instead. Sleeping instead of dancing sounds like a good idea. Alright, oh, oh there's a star. Oh, I missed it. It just kind of fell. Alright, oh, there's a mushroom one of these. Like, is it, and you got also, yeah, see it's the... And you need to be small to get this power up, power up. It's like the pity power, it's like, oh. First death! Here we go. Did not have enough momentum to clear that hop. This is not a real life core or anything. This is something I want to do because I want to do. Whoa, there, buddy. Whoa, the world there is kind of chillaxed without me there. All right. Whoa, oh, whoa. What? You exist? If you get scrolled off to the left? <laughs> what is this madness? What is this sorcery? You can't do that. Well, there's another mushroom. Hey, you got a lot of mushrooms. Mushrooms are popular to absorb inside your ingredient zone. It's a real bone that everyone has between their clavicles. Uh, most people would rather not talk about it though, because it kind of casts into doubt the whole um, pancreas theory. The theory that we have an organ that is called a pancreas. I, people in the medical field are just not ready to put that on a number. Hey, remember 1-3? We're gonna play 1-3 again, except we added a bullet bill generator. Look! You have to realize this entire game fits in like 40k of space. They had to make sacrifices, and they did so by making the platform shorter. But no, oh, yeah, hey. Bullet Bill Generator, right here in the first game, in the only real video game, right here, right now, with smaller platforming. Yeah, this is kind of a nightmare when you're a small idiot kid. And, uh, it's still kind of a nightmare for a real human also. 
but I mean, I feel like I've dealt with such a high amount of stress these past few days that barely register, my friends. There's a bear there, and uh, I'm gonna register it. I'm gonna call him Paul. I'm gonna make him wear a crown and a big regal cape. I'm gonna have a good time. All right, so now we're in two four. So this time there's a giant bar here. If you're an idiot, kid, you're gonna die. You're gonna be real afraid of that big bar because it's really scary. Ah! And there my momentum was all broken up. Okay, I mean, we might start to enter some kind of danger zone here. You see, like, I just don't think it's worth it getting that power up. Uh, except now the problem is that I'm tiny. Whoa! Oh, wow, okay, cow, okay, what are you doing? What are you doing, dude? Uh... <laughs> Don't panic. Panicking is the last thing you want to do. Man, the potable timing there just does not make any sense to me. Alright, so yeah, like, don't do anything dumb. Take your time. Just get on top of here if you don't want to mess around with anything. Like, jump over all of that. Oh, dude! What? Um, hmm. I... So I'm not gonna lie, I just kinda assumed that I'd be able to beat the game without too much trouble. How did that happen? How did that happen? Wow, uh... Oh, dude. Well, okay. Yeah, I don't know how that weird little... Uh... Now I'm rushing and I game overed. Huh. Yeah. Did not see that one coming. Well. What? Whoa, the vacuum effect. I never realized it was that strong. There it is! There's that one up! I knew there was one somewhere around there. Oh, fun fact, I didn't know. You can't kill a spiny by knocking from beneath. It survives. A, a feature that I don't think, like, survived the evolution of the game. It's a Mario 1 thing. The ball at the top of that flag is red instead of being green. Wow! Since I'm here, might as well show it. Like, look, oh, I'm a video game player, I'm gonna go down instead! Let's see what happens. Ooh, gotta be careful, there's far by the scene, and then you're just right back where you were. You don't get any, like, chimes or any kind of beep or onk like you would in any modern game. You just keep on going till you figure out that something's wrong. And yeah, here, like, the same thing happens if you go in any path other than backing up into the basement here like that. That's just how video games are played. Ooh, wonder what's- oh yeah, you turned to a spiny, of course. Now he did keep his shells when he retracted into his shell. Bowser's growing up! Tank Mario! Oh, whoops! Uh, hey, first pipe I go in, and it was by accident, and I hate this bonus. It doesn't feel like a bonus at all, because you get captured by these platforms and you get killed. Alright. Back here. Very similar situation as last time, honestly. Still tiny. Not a great amount of lives. I don't know what happened. Like, when I play this on... Like, I honestly think that, oh boy, that I'm having more trouble than last time I played because I'm more used to smooth physics. And, like, I'm not, I'm not trying to say this as an excuse or anything. Like, it's my job to, you know, get a grip and get used to this. But, uh, it seems super easy. But yeah, like, like, there's a lot of tiny micro-nuances everywhere that... where things don't work very well. And, uh... 
That's... that's... video games. That's just the reality of things. Alright, hey, like this. So at this point, I don't know... Oh, hi. Oh, well, that's a cool trick. I don't know the levels quite as well, I feel like. Like, up until now, I had a pretty good beat on, like, what was inside what. And just kind of choosing to ignore a lot of it. At this point, um... I know a lot less, feels like. Pretty sure there's a power up here, though. Yeah, look at that. Fire power. You can use it to set fires. Doink. See, you can't totally destroy him, but he will come back. Lakitu does come back. This is that, man. 4-1 is kind of a nothing level if you don't have Lakitu around. And that's just the trick. It's just a sweet move you can do if you spin around on the swivel chair for long enough. I don't suggest it. I should've got more coins. I don't know why I'm, I'm getting so little coins so little time. Man, this oh yeah, I remember this from 3Mix, where you do this level backwards. Good time for all. Yeah, look at that guy. It's probably just a power-up. Yeah, I, which I already have. Okay, I might remember a bit more than I think I do then. That's nice. It did it. Something up in one of these. Not at this point in time. Hey, alright, you know what? I think it's about time we visit the Beanstalk, assuming I can get up there. Not as well, maybe with this. I remember being wondering about that random block in Mario Mix. Turns out it's based on reality. Huh. Anyway, yeah, so there's this hidden all across the game. I probably did should have gone these because, yeah, you get, like, a lot of money. This is where you're gonna get most of your money. End up with heaven money. You can't, like, the block looks like it wants to be semi-solid, but it's not. Like, the clouds, yeah, like, it's so weird to me how they're solid from the bottom. Like, that just doesn't seem right for a cloud. And you're, like, draw back right where you were at, too, maybe. I don't know if that's always the case. There's a lot of things on no window. Oh my god, what? Like, I like how there's a lot of little variations on all the the stairs. This one has a pipe in it. Wow, and look how that bush was put around that flag base. Look like it's just tufts of grass. It's pretty cute. It's pretty adorable. 6-3, the frozen level. I always interpreted there's no ice physics or anything. I always uh, interpreted this as frost because I'm pretty sure it. Maybe I'm wrong. Whoops! Well, that's embarrassing. But like, I always thought it was a bit of a blue sheen in the on 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 the thing. But maybe it's just my memories playing tricks on me. Also, yeah, no, that, I'm not happy that happened. That is a life I could have used. Um, so, like, you probably could tell what I was expecting as a result. Like, I said, that thing where you hold jump and walk off and you got some distance with you, right? Well, no. Not in this game. Again, it's just I'm being... I'm catching myself into smooth habits that just do not work. Hey, hey, this time... Bullet generation that ha started mid-level, for one thing, and also on an, uh original level, and not like on a, a remix, it stopped. I, this part, as a kid, I thought was Nightmare Zone, and with this game's physics, they're a little Nightmare Zone. Just a little, though. This is the tiny little nightmare for you and I to realize our Christmases with. Alright, remember 1-4? Well, here we go. This time, all those weird spots where there were these iron bars, uh, have iron bars. Like, it's so weird. Like, I don't know if, like, the full version with all the fire bars and stuff was first, and then when they realized they needed more levels, they, like, edited down prior levels. Like, that's the feeling I get. Maybe they realize, you know what? This is a bit hard for the first one. Let's lay it off a little bit. Like, I, I don't know. I'm... The knowledge has to be out there. Like, Super Mario the first. Oh, there we go. Now he's got hammers that mess up with a hood and he turns into a squid. Like, Mario 1 is one of the most over-documented game in the universe. Like, someone has to know. 
Which came first? One, uh, six, four, and then they dummied it down? Or... I, I just, I'm... I realize, I don't know, seven, one, I forget what's special about this. But you already got, like, a thousand cannons. And a flower, that's hard to get. It's probably meant more to be a mushroom. Yeah, this is the cannon world. If you got questions, you can get here for cannon answers. I'm sorry about that. That was uncalled for. That was really rude. Borderline pathological. Look at that, you can break all these bricks and have a lot of fun breaking bricks! Cannon on the ground, cannon in the air. I don't think that's going to happen yet! There's a sweet skull that's printed on the side though, so you know that Bowser's forces are rad as butter. Scotch muffins. I don't think that exists. Maybe it should. I don't know anything about you. Is that a mushroom or... I know there's something. I don't get some power. I just... Hey, look at that. Double stairs. Whoa! With a buzz beetle, you can't set that guy on fire. What are you gonna do? Leave him that little fenced off area? Not make the jump? Have the pole there gray? I never realized there was so much variance on the color of the dot at the top of the flag. I thought it was always green. I mean, considering this game probably has to pull off a whole bunch of trickeries to be able to work, I guess it's not too surprising. By the way, remember 2-2? Two, two? Uh, I forget how these levels differ, because I believe that the construction is the same? It's just that there's more squids, maybe? Like, that's the only difference, so get here with Fireball, that's... That's my trick of the day. Uh, if you lose your fire... Yeah, see now there's three squids here. Oh boy, okay, well, uh... It's gonna make things interesting, possibly. Maybe. Alright, let's just swim for now. You go really fast on the water in this game. When did video game playing... Like, when did it turn slow underwater? Because clearly not in this one. Like, I'm not holding run here, and I'm going at a pretty good clip. Like, I'm just going, and everything is okay. When did playing underwater turn slow? I need to know that. It's a, it's a way in which the echoes of time are inferior to the original object, I feel like. And I don't know how I feel about that. Remember 2-3? I don't. It's a bridge, except this time there's four pushes and three. Also, they added turtles. So yeah, another level. I remember it being a nightmare. Well, the fact that the fish make the turtles turn around is kind of a little nightmarish. I disagree, but okay. Well, I guess if things like that can happen, yeah, this turns into a nightmare. Mm. Wish I had more lives, but I'm not getting any coins ever. I don't want to jump. I feel like I need to jump the least amount possible here. No! Oh! I'm gonna game over again. Like, that's just flat out what's gonna happen. Something stupid is gonna happen. And, uh... I'm gonna die, and that's gonna be it. I honestly did not expect to have the challenge that I've had today. But, like, I feel like I'm happy about that. That I was indeed challenged. That feels nice. Alright, here, just go. Weird slow-mo jump. Man, treachery. I thought it was just bats that were treacherous to turtles. Turns out it's also fish. Oh man, that callback. Oh, okay, fish go out of the water. Look for love wherever you can. Alright. I mean, we're almost at the end. But, uh, oh, like, I have no lives. <laughs> The zero doesn't count. And the whole point of this is to beat the game without using the continue, so... <laughs> so we're back at another maze... And I forgot the order. I think it's top, middle, top, but I could be mistaken. I was mistaken. Is it top, middle, bottom? I remember it being not too complicated at first. Bottom, middle, top? Oh man, the, this is what we call video games in the astral. Yeah, there we go. 
now it's top. Gotta do this. I think we need to drop down here. And then go back up. I think I'm wrong. No, I'm not. Huh. Shoot! Oh, well, I was kind of... Oh! How'd you like my terrible decision-making skills? are looking up at least a little bit. We're on the precipice of the end here. Right, so this was bottom, middle, top. Middle, top. Then you honk like a duck. And you end up up here and panic a little bit. Then I, I think it's supposed to be the middle, but it's nice enough that you can fall all day long and it's not good. Bowser's mad, I'm mad, everyone's mad. He has that rainbow of iron in here, and it's just like, what the heck is this? Also, Bowser is just an adult the hammer, bro. It all makes sense now. See, the trick is keep a fire power, and everything's gonna be okay. You can be there big, too, and you can just tank through everything. Being small, though, that's where the nightmare begins. So, in the ideal world, I can just keep this fire flower forever, and I'll be fine. Uh, I recall this level... I recall, like, time upping in this level as a young lad, so let's just keep on trucking. Uh, at this point in the game, there's no more myth points, but, like, we haven't really encountered all that much, luckily. So... How do you have those? Huh. Because you can't bounce on turtles. I mean, you like, you do a little baby jump, like, you don't really bounce. Call there being, yeah, something here. Call oh, a star. Doesn't have any animation, it just swaps around. Ooh. Yeah, remember when I said about hoping I can, if I would keep my fireball? everything would be okay. Momentum is kind of ridiculous in this game. Uh, man, so, like, you want to hurry, but you can't hurry too much. Gonna get all the money I can, except for that one coin. Jump in between the ducks. Endanger you for nothing. That's what it's all about. Nothing here. I don't know where I am in the world. Look at that, they turn around when they land on the ground so that they can go back towards you and bite you in the shins. A good time for all. Alright, so, uh, be careful. Like, yeah, here's a big jump, but once you get here, slow down a little bit. Hey, look at that. Destroy all of your enemies. Like that guy. It really feels like something wants to be there, but there isn't. This jump was super hard when I was a kid. I think I didn't understand momentum. Like, I think what was happening was that I stopped in the middle thing instead of keeping using my momentum, and it didn't really work out all that well, it turns out. Go, 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 go. But, uh, yeah, you're kind of supposed to just kind of go from one to the other to the other. A2 has a life in it. So if I die in 8-2, I can get it back, assuming I get to that life. It's a big assumption, I feel like, at this point. This is... did I... okay, yeah, I, I thought you couldn't really... oh boy, uh... This is awkward for everyone involved, especially me. Is there any power-up in any of these? Like, okay. Are there any power-ups at all in World 8? Well, there's a 1-up I was talking about, so the the grandfather of all, hey, keep track of that power-up segment, except it's a 1-up, but hey, I mean, same difference. It's a mushroom. I don't trust anything. 
How's it going? I'm pretty sure there's a power up in one of these. Yeah. I don't know why that cannon took five hours to blast. That was scary. Eh. Alright, well, I'm down here now. I got one money. I lost my hit. Everything is doing okay. Another impossible part when I was a kid, because I didn't realize you could, like, start your jump from the pipe. So, ah, uh, I tried to do the, the run from the little blocks, and I just couldn't make it work. Yeah, so there I panicked, so I died, but like I said, as long as I can get this one up here, for this level alone, I have unlimited tries. Unlimited tries work. I mean, sure, there's stress ball with Kentucky Lord here, but hey, once you get out of Kentucky, you're gonna be fine. Yeah, I don't know why this guy goes the other way. He's having fun. He's living his own life. Good for him. Eh? If I could keep this mushroom here, that'd be- Yeah, that guy too, he's- he's- he's just out of here. I don't know how the logic there worked, man. I feel like this game is made where you are incentivized to just kind of go. Oh boy. Yeah, I did it again. I really want to end this level big. I just don't know if that's going to happen. But it's what I want. Will I get what I want? Probably not. That turtle demonstrated what happens if you do your jump bad. You cry. Alright, here we go. 8-3. I hope there's a power-up early. If you've never played this game, it's basically the land of Hammer Bros. They're everywhere. There's also cannons, but also there's that sweet thing with the walls that is legit pretty rad. But yeah, it's the world of this guy. Oh, there we go. I need to be careful because, as I'll demonstrate here, if you're small and you touch the fire flower, you just revert to big. <laughs> Glad I could demo that! <laughs> yeah! Video games. We're gonna be taking this real smooth here. You can jump straight to the bottom if you want to. Oh! Sweet! Okay, game is generous. Got it. It's mean, but it's generous. It's a nice... See, because you get here, Hammer Bros underground, and that's just... You don't, you don't want to deal with that. Just fry them all. Just destroy the world. This is a coin block. It's just a line. It's hidden. It's pretty clever. The first time I got to this place as a kid, uh, I was playing, like, on the family TV at my grandmother's ma uh, mouse house at, like, a holiday or something. I panicked and I died and my mom laughed and made fun of me. <laughs> That's my memory associated with this part of the game. <laughs> Alright, five lives, eight four, it's a maze, it's kind of a killer. If... I hope I can keep my fireballs, man, because that would change everything. You got white Goombas. You got a platform in the lava. I think I remember the path, but that is no guarantee. Is it here? Mm, I don't know where I am. We haven't encountered these, so I think I'm correct for now. I don't remember you. Just hopping down. Yeah, okay, so I am... So yeah, here, you gotta discover this path, because you gotta go in this pipe. Yeah, that's right! You gotta go in the pipe! Alright, now I think there's gonna be a big thing of lava. It's gonna be the pipe immediately afterwards. Yep. Now we're underwater. As a kid, I was like, wait, no! You can't have water in the castle! That's re that's impossible! I refuse to accept that. Look, as a kid... Uh, I like my facts real square and deal, and there I got hurt in a really dumb way. This is it. This is what might have destroyed my run. Because as you can see, there's no power-ups. There's that guy. Dude! <laughs> yeah, there's that guy.
okay. Oh, <laughs> that was kind of lucky there. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, well, we present you a new quest where I think enemies are slightly faster and all Goombas were replaced by Buzzy Beetle. Wow! The dead uh, game is pretty good, but I mean, I know the controls are supposed to be revolutionary. Um, for my modern hands, Mario controls like a bucket. They're great for momentum base if you want to move quickly. But if you want to do very precise things, I feel like they don't give me the precision that I want. But I mean, this was a huge important step. And this was a lot harder than I was expecting. I'm glad for it. But I feel a part of it is that I'm used to modern Mario controls. And that did kind of kind of trip me up more than once. <laughs>